Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out another new show. This is Faulty Towers. Now this is a short show too, so we're going to get through this pretty fast, man. Just think about how fast uh, Extras blew through. I think it was like, what, three months? So we're going to blow through this one. Uh, I am Alan Partridge in office pretty fast. So, But we still have the long run of ones, Only Fools and Horses, a Peep Show, and Red Dwarf, which I'm really excited for. And then we just kind of have Father Tech chilling there in the middle. So we're going to see what fills that slot. Because it doesn't just because the other ones came close with the last vote, doesn't mean they're going to come close again when we're voting after Father's Head is over for a new show. Doesn't mean those same shows that came close are going to make it because so many patrons kind of like cycle in and out where they might leave for a month and then come back or leave and never come back. So it might be a whole new group of people by the time we vote for that coming up in the polls. So it's a mystery what might win next. It could be another long run of show. It could be another really short, short show. It's just a few, like six episode shows on there. So it might end up one of those winning. We'll, we'll definitely see. I'm curious to see how the next poll is going to turn out. All right, folks, man, we look forward to this. Let's go ahead and jump into it. One double room without bath, the 16th, 17th, and 18th. Yes, and if you'll be so good as to confirm by letter, thank you so much. Goodbye. Have you made up the bill for room 12, Basil? No, I haven't yet, no. Well, they're in a hurry. Polly says they didn't get their alarm call. There is too much butter on those trays. Okay. There is too much butter on those trays. No, 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 senor. What? Not, not on those trays. No, sir. Uno, dos, <laughs> Burro. Burro. Uh, Manuel, uh, Manuel, por, por favor, momento. Si, si, si. si. I, nothing, dear. I'm just dealing with it. Uh, he speak good, uh, how you say? English. Mantaquilla. Solamente... Those and keen to learn, dear, and in this day and age... But why such... did you say you could speak the language? I learned classical Spanish, not the strange dialect he seems to have picked up. We could have trained a monkey. Morning, Miss Gatsby. Morning, Miss Tibbs. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> there you are. There's the bill. Perhaps you'd pay my wife. I have to put the picture up. There aren't any dustbins to be cleaned out. Newspapers! <laughs> Morning, Major. Morning, Volter. I do apologise for the tardiness of the arrival of your newspaper this morning, Major. I will speak to them again, see if something can be done. Ah, uh, more strikes. No. Dustman, post office. Oh, it makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Oh. What's happened to the old idea of doing something for your fellow man? The sky's the limit. Basil, 22 rooms is the limit. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the people in room six? They've never even sat on chairs before. They're the commonest, <laughs> vulgarest, most... Of... Tina, Got a room for tonight, mate. I shall have to see, sir. A single? Yeah. No, I'm making a double. I feel lucky today. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Okay, sir. In the car. The white sports. <laughs> Fill this in, would you, sir? <laughs> if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay, Mr. Brown. Ah, uh, Manuel, uh, would you... In Spain. Obtener la valisa. Okay. La valisa en el uh, auto bianco uh, sportif y a la sala uh, siete, por favor. Señor habla español. Oh, solo un poco, lo siento. Oh, no. Pero he olvidado mucho. No, señor, habla muy bien, muy, muy bien, formidable. Oh, oh. Gracias, gracias. Lo voy a coger ahora. <laughs> Terrible customer service man. You could have had them both done by now if you hadn't spent the whole morning skulking in there listening to that racket. Racket? That's Brahms! Brahms' third racket! <laughs> Portuguese, tomato soup. I'll have the grill for it. <laughs> uh, now, balm carousel. Lamb? Casserole. Oh, sounds good. Does it come with a smile? Comes with sprouts or carrots. Oh, the smile's extra, is it? You'll get one if you eat up all your sprouts. The waiter is busy, sir, but I will bring you the cut de vin when I have finished attending to this gentleman. Oh, fine. No hurry. Oh, good. How nice. How very good. I trust the beer is to your satisfaction, sir? Yeah. Fine. Ah, good. May I leave you? No, 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 no. The list. There, there, the list. The list there. The red list. There. There. Ah. Name it, please. 
Can I do a bag of a bottle? No apologize. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Oh. Throw it away. Okay? Throw it off. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Doctor. What's it alone? I like a bit of cabaret. <laughs> you, uh, you left your sketch. Oh, sorry. No, it's very good. Do you sell any? Enough to keep me in waitressing. Oh. I was wondering if you could offer me accommodation for a few nights. Well, have you booked? I'm sorry. Have you booked? <laughs> have you booked? I oh, know. Oh, dear. Why, are you a fool? No, no, we're not fool. <laughs> not fool? Of course we're not fool. <laughs> well, I'd like one to... One moment, one moment, moment pile. You might have found time to cement them together, you know, <laughs> one on top of the other in the traditional fashion. Could you fill it in, please? Oh, splendid. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but when, Mr. O'Reilly? There, there, oh, there. No. Would you put both your names, please? Well, would you give me a date? No, I only use one. You don't have a first name. You know, I'm Lord Melbury, so I simply sign Melbury. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, shit. And so sweet. Well, we don't have any sweets, but we have some beautiful doubles. No, oh, no, 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 just a single. Just a single, absolutely. How very wise, if I may say so, Your Honour. So, yeah, with a bath? Oh, naturally. Naturally. Natural mop. <laughs> yeah, well, I shall. Uh, I shall be. Rotter. <laughs> and well, still, it's good for the wheat. Oh yes, I suppose so. Oh yes, I hear it's coming on wonderfully at the moment. Oh, thank God. Oh, I love the wheat. Oh, there's no sight like a field of wheat oh, waiting. Well, you know, it's really, you know. May I introduce my wife? Yes, we have met. Ah, my wife. May I introduce his lordship? Thank you. Busy. Nice to meet you, Lord Melbury. Hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. I'll do it then, and I'll do the picture. I'll put this away in one moment, your lord. Uh, Manuel, uh, would you take these cases to room 21? Take oh, no. to room 21. Thank you very much, yes. Yo! <laughs> Oh, that's extremely kind of you. Unfortunately, I have an engagement tonight. Oh, oh actually, yes. uh, there is one thing. Oh, good, good. Um, I was wondering, uh, can you cash me a small check? Uh, I'm playing golf this oh, afternoon. Oh, delighted. Oh, yes, I mean, uh, will 100 be enough? I mean, 150, 200, 160? Or... Stop, oh, yeah, dig well, your hole. Let's see, it's dinner tonight, a few tips. Oh, and it's the weekend, isn't it? Ah. Would 200 be all right? <laughs> oh, God. oh man. his wife will kill him. Reading, I mean. Sure. Oh. What? Hello, dear. What are you doing? I'm kissing you, dear. Well, don't. Oh, oh, damn. I heard about lunch. Oh, it's delightful to have people like that staying here. Sheer class golf, bar, there's engagements. Couple of hundred uh, ho, 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 horses. <laughs> well, I've never seen such tatty cases. Of course you haven't. It's only a true upper class. That would, have... um, would you do me a favour? Uh, when you're down in the town this afternoon, uh, would you just pop, just between ourselves, don't mention my wife, pop into the bank and just. <laughs> Mr. Waring. A gin and orange, a lemon squash, and a scotch and water, please. Certainly. Oh. Is there any part of the room you would like us to keep away from? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll be over there, then. Ah, <coughs> oh, such... Oh, I don't know what. Je ne sais quoi. Exactly, exactly. Ah, oh, there you are, Sybil. Good evening, Major. Good evening, Mrs. Foldy. There you are, Your Lordship. Oh, thank you very much. I see my little collection of coins. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Mm, oh, yes, you know, these sorts of things, they, 
The value soared this last couple of years. Uh, gin and orange, a lemon squash and a scotch. <laughs> I do apologize. I was well, just um, talking. Um, um, I was um, I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> you see, I am having dinner tonight uh, with the Duke of Buckley. Yes, certainly, uh, yes. Now I'll be off in a few well, moments. Mm, you know, it's it's soon. That's a man to the North Mountain! Get out of the dude's ass, man. All right, all right. Yes, yes, well, well, yes, yes, right, yes. Not Lord Melbury. Yes. He's not Lord Melbury. He's a confidence trickster. I beg your pardon? Mr. Brown told me. Ah. Oh. Mr. Brown's from the CID. They've been watching Melbury because he's pulling so some big con trick. Unlike that cockney git whose ulterior motives yeah. will soon, no doubt, become apparent to you, Dude. poor, innocent, misguided child that you are. That's what's going on. Nothing, my dear, nothing at Mrs. all. Mrs. Forty. Now, look. Yes, Polly. I don't know what That's she's... All... <laughs> do not open that case. I forbid it. I have forbidden it. <laughs> I never thought I would listen to that. She's going to listen to the shit he said. Why not? The peer of the rebel trusts to us. A case of Adams. In trust. Right. <laughs> Call the police. They're already here. Mr. Brown's outside. Someone at reception, Basil. I believe you were expecting us. No, no, I was expecting somebody else. Sir Richard and Lady Morris. Yes, yes, them as well. I'm sorry? How did you know? What? Oh, you were Sir Richard and Lady Morris. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I was just the... <laughs> You snobs! <laughs> you stupid, stuck up, toffee nosed, half witted, upper class piles of. <laughs> oh, no, I better put this up as well. Basil? A gin and orange, <laughs> lemon squash, and a scotch of water. <laughs> <laughs> all right man that was good that was it, it started off slow to me like just you know a, a few little goofy moments but it really took off man i got that were real that was really funny that was really really good he keeps on trying to start next episode ah uh, that was funny man that was really, really good i was thinking i was like i'm like when, when she's in the car with my guy like are they cops and I, I wasn't sure if the dude like um so especially when he starts saying the coin thing, I'm like, okay, this dude's a con, man. This dude's trying to freaking con him. But this is good. It's funny. Like, you know, the whole, I guess they're trying to teach a lesson about like not judging a book by its cover. Like he's talking down to the guy with, uh, what do you say, the Cogni accent, but like uh, kissing uh, the other dude's ass. And he's a common. So definitely, that's a, I guess that was the whole lesson or whatever. Whatever. But it was funny. His wife came off as kind of naggy, and he, he came off as like having just really bad customer service, but also being just a victim of being overwhelmed because he didn't seem like he was getting the, the right help he needed. But then what more I was watching, like, dude, this dude put himself in a situation. He hired somebody who could barely, like, speak English to save money and and, and said he could speak Spanish, then blamed it on an old boy's dialect. Um, he didn't, wasn't really, like, managing his time properly. So his wife is yelling at him because he doesn't manage his time properly and get things done. So... It's a combination of all those things. And then, like, how easily he fell for it. Like, if it wasn't for, like, his wife and old girl, he would have been, like, all, um, most likely, like, out of all that stuff. So, I mean, given the cops were still waiting for him. But, and I actually thought he was going to blow it at the end by, like, letting old boy know that he knew because then the guy would have a way to get out the back way without the cops seeing him or something. That's what I thought was going to happen. Uh, but all in all, man, good good first episode. Really, really funny, man. And, like I said, it started off slow, then it just got really funny to... I, I think the first big laugh I got was when he, like, smacked his waiter in the head. That was... <laughs> After he accidentally pulled the chair from under old boy. Oh, he should have shot his waiter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Such a dick. He has terrible customer service, and he has, like, a, like a, I don't know, like, well, pretentious dick. I don't know. This is good. I enjoyed this. This was a good first episode. All right, guys. Uh, that is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.